Hi, and welcome back to Lavender Coco Kitchen. My daughter Lakshmi and I are here dressed up for Diwali. A very special <laughs> celebration. Which is the annual Hindu Festival of Lights, which is celebrated around this time in India every year. And as you might know, my husband is Indian, so Lakshmi is half Indian. <laughs> And Diwali is something obviously that he celebrated when he was in India. So we decided we would make something for this occasion. And it's actually something that can be enjoyed anytime. But it's delicious at Diwali with your Diwali sweets and snacks. And it is of course India's national drink, which is masala chai. We're actually going to show you how to make a masala chai frappe, mm. which we love when the weather is hot, which it is getting pretty hot here at the moment, isn't it? It's really hot. Yeah. So you can easily make a masala chai into a frappe just by adding coconut cream ice cubes. Mm. On the plate that Lakshmi has, we have a selection of delicious spices for our masala chai. We have cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper, ginger and cloves and of course black tea. And all these spices are really beneficial for your health as well. So while you're enjoying a delicious drink, you're actually benefiting your health too. Boosting your energy levels helping to lower your cholesterol and helps to prevent cancer as well. And also ginger, of course, will boost your immunity. So it's very good for you actually to drink this on a more regular basis. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> it's very delicious. So first, we won't put the tea bags in now, but we'll put all the spices into a saucepan due to give them a bit of a bash. A bang. <laughs> yeah, we just want to crush them all a bit so that it'll let some of their flavours come out. Like medieval version. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done a good job at bashing those spices. <laughs> wow, this smells really good. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Let me try. Mm. We add two and a half cups of water. Oops. Okay, that's one. And that's two. one and a half. You need two more of those. Two and one more half. Yeah, good. All right, now I'm going to take this to the stove, and we need to bring it to the boil. So when it comes to a boil, then we're going to turn it down a little and simmer it for 15 minutes. Cool. So it's boiling now, so we'll just turn it down a little and allow it to simmer for 15 minutes before we add the tea bags. So yeah, that's when the tea bags are in. And if you want hot chai, then you would add in milk and it will end up looking like this. If you want to do the frappe, then you don't want to add any milk to this mixture. All you want is a concentrated liquid. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is one we prepared earlier. Yeah. So I've had this in the fridge, as you can see. It's just a concentrated liquid of the water that's been infused with all those lovely spices and the tea bags. And it is quite strong, as you can tell. <laughs> Obviously to make a frappe is a cold drink, so you need to chill this in the fridge until it's really cold before you use it. If you want to speed up the process, put it in the freezer, but keep an eye on it so it doesn't freeze over. <laughs> so when you've got your mixture, before you put it in the fridge, you've got to add some sweetener to it, unless you like really bitter tea, but it is quite bitter. So I've added some coconut syrup and a bit of maple syrup. You can use either, but coconut syrup has a better flavour for this. It's a lot stronger and has a really nice taste. It goes well with the tea. I'll let you taste that and see if you think there's enough sweetener in it. Mm, yeah, that's good. It's really good. So it's wow. good for you? Mm, yeah. Absolutely delicious. 
So that's about two tablespoons of syrup in there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can put less or more according to your personal taste. Guess what this is? Coconut. Coconut cream ice yeah, cubes. Lovely. So I've got some in here. Yeah. But to make these, as you see, I've just put coconut cream in an ice cube tray and wait till it freezes. So it's very easy to do. So when you've boiled your water, your mixture will condense to about one cup of liquid. Mm. So we'll just put this in a blender. A heaped cup of coconut cream ice cubes. I used to eat these in GB. Yeah. I remember stealing them from the fridge. Oh. So you want a heaped cup, like you need, you can put a bit extra if you want it a bit more creamy. It's up to you. Now we're going to blend it until it's all smooth. And, mm. oh, there you have it. A lovely frappe mix. So Yummy. just give that a bit of a stir. So as you can see, all the ice has blended in and made a thick and delicious refreshing cold liquid mm. so all we have to do now is put it in a, mm. a glass or a cup now you might want to decorate your drink okay to make it look really nice as well as a little more flavor Bubbles. so we've got cardamom powder mm-hmm mm, can smell that one yeah, that's a real taste of India there, isn't it? <laughs> and my favourite, cinnamon. <laughs> and we have some lovely dried rose petals. I'm having a sniff of them. <laughs> they don't have that much smell. <laughs> no, it's actually right. Yeah, you can eat them, but they don't really have a lot of flavour, but they look really nice. So you can just sprinkle any of these or all of them on the top. You have your delicious wow. masala chai frappe. Amazing. And that will be a really lovely, refreshing drink when the weather mm. is hot and you can have it as another Diwali treat. I want to eat this <laughs> by myself. So, our delicious masala chai frappe is ready, and as you see, I have made some Diwali sweets as well to go with it. Delicious. Yeah, so would you like to try it now? Yes, I have been <laughs> drinking all of the leftover stuff between takes because <laughs> it's so good. Oh. Mmm, <laughs> this is really good. What can you taste? Everything. All the spices. It's very creamy. Mm. Yeah, the coconut mm. cream gives it that nice creamy texture. It has a really nice cooling smooth effect mm. as you drink it down. Oh, wow. What would you say? <laughs> um, 11 out of 10. <laughs> there you go. That see? is very good. You may want to try this yourself. And as you can see, it's very easy to make. I'm going to make more of these after this Actually, video. Actually, I need to taste Mmm, yeah, delicious. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.